keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna be talking about the two-way diming slashing threat, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. As liking up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your note game for my daily double uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. So, it doesn't matter what, what hand you are, you can go left or right-handed. You know I just like going left-handed because I'm left-handed IRL. Um, what we're actually going to do here is go small forward, but we're going to go 6'6 six, six with this. 215 pounds, and then we're going 7'3, so we're maxing out that wingspan all the way out. And then, of course, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the physicals, because the physicals will actually upgrade everything when we actually move them up at the top. So we're going 85 speed. What I like to do for, um, really ideally, is 80 to, 85 to 90 for a lockdown, or a build that has the ability to be a lockdown. Because um, believe it or not, speed this year is not only associated with moving up and down the court, but it's also your lateral quickness, and it's also the ability to stop and then run and go um, quickly. So it's almost like acceleration without the ball. So I know that sounds confusing, but it's very important to have speed, okay? Um, then acceleration is 75. Again, now acceleration is only with the ball in your hand. As a secondary ball handler, lockdown type, this is not really important. So again, do not have to worry about doing that unless you're trying to get badges. And this right here, we are, we're just trying to get um, blow by. So we're getting that up um, um, at a 75. And then of course, 60 on the strength so we can get out of our clamps and everything like that. We gotta go 75 on the vert. And then we're gonna go um, 95 on the stamina, okay? So again, this is all just getting the whole foundation set up to be able to go through the actual badges that we're looking at. So now let's go all the way up to the top, right? Um, the big one here is just going 87 on the driving dunk. So by going 87 on the driving dunk, what you're going to be able to get is posterizer on silver, slithery, per, you know, precision dunking on silver, aerial wizard for lives. You get bunny on gold. If you've been watching any of my high flyer videos, you know bunny is actually very overpowered. I love that um, badge. Then we're going to go 70 on the um, driving layup. Again, as you see, that will give us fearless finisher on bronze. And then we're going to go 45 on the standing dunk because... This right here basically gives you the basic standing dunk package, and it's just a really, really good, you just basically get standing dunks on the rim. If you go 45, you get standing dunks on the rim, and standing dunk is way much better than having a layup attempt or a close shot attempt. You want to be able to dunk the ball as much as you can in the basket, so that's what you want to get. You got to go 45, right? Now, on our three-point shot, we're going 77, so you can't go no higher than 77 or it will change the name. Now, we all know, again, like I like going back to my high flyer video, I have a 78 three ball. I shoot it at a very high rate. I'm shooting 52, 53%, and that's actually really good um, in this day and age. Um, but if you're using this build as a spot up, you should be able to creep closer to 60. Now, if you use this build as a secondary ball handler and actually dribble an ISO on with it, then you can expect to shoot in the, the, you know, the lower 50s, right? But at the end of the day, that's just kind of where everybody's sitting at right now. Shooting's really hard, right? Um, mid-range shot, we're going 72 in that mid-range. As you see, it will give you mini position on silver. It's just the ability to be able to shoot in the mid-range is important, so you have that versatility. And then, of course, we're going 72 on the free throw to be for my rec players that like playing in rec. You got to have at least a decent free throw. You also will get free points on bronze, which increases the player's ability in free throws and clutch situations. It's just always good to have that, all right? Now, let's get into the playmaking, all right? We're going 89 with this, okay? So by going 89, it gives you a couple things. As you can see, it gives you dimer and relay passer, and that's all good, right? And dimer on gold, don't be sleeping on that. Any type of dimer when it's hard to shoot is good, all right? So don't let anybody tell you things differently. But also, this will give you the best passing style in the game, which is Hilliburton. Um, you want to, you can get that passing style by 89, so you'll get that. And of course, you also will get bell out on bronze, which is also really critical for any type of build that is going to be throwing up close contested shots. It's good to have. I don't have that on my high flyer build. I wish I could, but 87 is extremely too high to get that. So you're able to get that with this build here. And then of course, we're going 85 with the ball handle. And like I said, well, let's do also the speed with ball at 75. So 75 speed with ball with the 85 ball handle. 
you see here you get the blow buys on silver you get speed booster on silver hyper driver on silver and you get the triple strike on silver so these are good badges and then of course when you come up here you get handles for days and also unpluckable on silver with ankle breaker on gold so do not sleep on that very 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 good bad stack here again like you can see this is going to be able to do a little bit of everything but now let's come here we're going to go 88 on the perimeter defense so as you can see here by going 87 you get challenger gold by going 88 you get 94 feet gold and that's actually important 94 feet is a good badge it's not something that you necessarily have to have but it's also good because what happens is when a 94 feet pops up i usually go ahead and use right stick ripper right because i just feel like once you get that and once 94 feet comes up and lets you know that you're harassing defenders so obviously that means something right so i'm ripping i'm going for the square or i'm going for right stick ripper all right <laughs> so anywho we're going here 91 on the steel and we all know why we go 91 here that gives you gold um glove interceptor and right stick ripper respectfully very very good badges here we all know how good on ball steals are right now hopefully it maintains that because we all know that you got to be able to have some way shape or form to negate just people just sitting there dribbling freely so again i love that then we're going to go 68 on the block now 68 block what that's going to do is is give you chase down artists on silver so you have the ability to get chased down with this build. Um, you're six six, so just having the uh, ability to get chased down is great if somebody gets by you. But for the most part, you're trying to keep this build on. You're trying to keep your defenders on the perimeter, and you're able to keep them on the perimeter with this. So at the end of the day, you're looking at a really really good stack build, right? Contact dunks with the driving dunk. You can shoot the three ball. You even have a little bit of mid range. Extraordinarily great pass accuracy, passing for bell out and dimer on gold. You get the elite dribble animations right along with all the silver badges that come along with that and then of course you get the gold perimeter badges and steel badges well silver clamps and then everything else that's important will be gold and then of course you get the really high steal rate you talk about the chase down on bronze but then also like i said the speed is really important this year so 85 to 90 is what you're really trying to look at for your lockdowns this year okay and then of course here you have it my nephews and nieces another solid build all the way around um, a build that I think is going to be very playable, very usable in all different forms from rec to um, 3v3 to the theater modes, whatever. And of course, it's an extraordinarily very rare name. Two-way diming slashing threat is absolutely insane in my opinion. So anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think about this build. What would you change differently about this build? Is there anything that you saw that I maybe I could adjust just a little bit to make it a little bit better? I'm always open to that or at least let people in the comment section know. I know last build someone said, yo, Demi, all you had to do is move from 60 to 61. You would have got anchor on Brian's for my rebound and wing. I said, oh, well, that's good information to know. So I pinned it, right? So you always good to get your input, all right? But other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.